Hi everyone, Pyramid Intel. My last video I was talking about how difficult it can be to accept something that you don't want to be true or that you have always believed to not be true. You used to see people that you are close to you, that you love, you care about one way and then to have to accept that you know they could be some other way altogether can be really painful and, and you'll you know go into denial about it cognitive dissonance so where does all of this come from well it comes from a couple of things uh, it's peer pressure because we all have been programmed about you know what a perfect family is and a perfect relationship and how you're supposed to treat everyone there are these generic programs that are running involving religion and jobs and friends and and you know di family dynamics and everything that they're running this level of acceptability this program that everyone's supposed to fit themselves into you know just the educational system alone when they're running these programs that are, are so ridiculous when everyone is so look if no one else has a fingerprint exactly like yours right that's your one identifier of all the billions of people that that narrows it down and yet and yet they want to take everyone's brain and morph them into the same little program and shove them through that chute and it's all supposed to fit and come out okay on the other side does that make any sense just the fact that I would say something like that, which in my mind makes perfect sense, usually makes other people just like stop talking and they just kind of look at me with their mouth hanging open. And, uh, and then most people will slide away from the cocktail table or just go back to talking about, you know, what they had for dinner last night. Because uh, they don't want to think, you know, they don't want to consider these possibilities. And that also is the reason why we are where we are right now. I understand that trafficking of children is an unsavory topic. Do you think I enjoy it? Do you think I like thinking about it? And I don't think about it 24 seven, but the fact that people will not even acknowledge that it's happening in their neighborhoods and in their towns uh, because it you know, makes them not feel good, it's like, fuck you, all right, fuck you. You need to get a grip because if the children or anyone else who's suffering or having severe injustices has to suffer through it being done to them, then you can make yourself a little uncomfortable to accept this reality and God forbid actually become part of the solution, you know, might you don't want to put you out. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little worked up about it. Um, and yet at the same time, I understand because I'm human. And, uh, you know, I want to have a good life. I want to relax and have fun. I know where everyone's coming from. I do. I'm not saying I'm above all that. But I am saying that I, I give a lot of thought to these things. And I realize clearly what the right thing to do is. And the only way that we are going to make changes in our society, which everyone desperately wants to do, because everyone knows it's a shit show, right? But yet no one wants to really put any thought into it about how they can fix it or, you know, what, the, what that actually means, the fact that we're living in a bullshit, you know, society where, you know, everyone's running around all, all screwed up and in denial and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, because that, that would take some effort, you know, and, uh, you know, who wants to do that? Life is hard enough. It makes no sense to me. If you don't like it, it's only going to get shittier. You know, if you allow a bully to push you around over and over and over and over, do you think he's finally going to get tired and bored and go away? No, it doesn't work that way. Human nature, it doesn't work that way. You need to nip it in the bud and stop that shit. You need to take care of it yourself because it's only going to escalate. That's what we've done out of laziness, laziness, and buying into the programs. The people that are programming you, they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing, you know? Now, is once you're onto it, you can do something about it. That's the beauty of it. It's really not complicated. Change is not really complicated either. The way things work, they're actually frighteningly simple. And you've been convinced that everything is such a painful ordeal to program that uh, you will avoid it at all costs. And when you realize that it really wasn't that complicated to begin with, you can feel pretty sheepish. But the weird thing is, because of the way that we've been conditioned, 
even when you go through all that and you see everything to be true that I just said, that you can do anything you want and you can make the changes and are really not complicated, the solution was right in front of you, um, you will forget that unless you are actively living it, thinking it, reinforcing it, building new programs, new neural pathways every single day, you will revert to those old programs, you know? So that's just something to think about. That's my pyramid and tell. Okay, have a great day. Love you. Bye.